Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom and I am here to do the weekly angel card reading for the virtual psychic fair. And in case you aren't sure, the virtual psychic fair is going on this weekend. If I get the, this posted um, either today or tomorrow, it's still Saturday. So August 26th and 27th, the virtual psychic fair is going. So just go out to virtualpsychicfair.com and you can see who's online, who's on, who's online at the time. So, But I am here to do the weekly reading for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. September 3rd, 2017. Wow. Time is flying. Now we just had the eclipse last week, so I'm not sure what that brought up for you, but it may be interesting. And it, it, for me, it, it is always interesting to go back and look at last week's reading to see how it played out in the week for you. So you might want to do that. They're all found on, you can either go to my YouTube channel or Diane Garris's YouTube channel, or this is on my Facebook page, the Virtual Psychic Fair um, Facebook page, so you can find this YouTube all over the past ones as well. So, okay, today, this week, for this week, as usual, I am using the integration cards and uh, the Oracle of Tea. So I did shuffle a little bit ahead of time. Ooh, that card wanted to flip out and I caught which one it was. So I pulled it out. I always like it when they flip out because then you know. There was one yesterday. I do a daily reading on Instagram and my Instagram is Sue Broom 44 S U E B R O O M E 44 if you're on Instagram I do that uh, almost every day and then I also share it on Facebook and I think it was yesterday or the day before it's like boom so I like that when it happens because you know you know it's a message for us all so I pulled two Oracle cards for the integration deck on either side and then the Oracle of T in the middle. And I look at these not as this is the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, but this is your overall for the entire week. So things may be coming up sooner, but they all play together and they all blend together. And that's what the Oracle of T deck really does. <laughs> I know I always laugh when I pull cards. Okay, 6A past. Now this is so cool because yeah it's the first card and it really is about looking at our past but because it's a 6A so 6A is the sixth chakra and A is going a little bit deeper because we have 6, 6A, 6B, and 6C so 6A we're going a little bit deeper. And, and what it feels like to me, so six, the sixth chakra is of course the third eye and really, if you look at this, it's a spiral. There's several spirals that are going on. And when we are working on our intuition, when we are working on our third eye, when we are working on our spirituality, it really does go in spirals. It's not like everything is just in a vicious circle. It isn't. It seems sometimes it seems like it takes forever to get to the next step but really if you're spiraling you are moving up at a not at a racing speed but you're moving up so look at it from that perspective plus the other thing the reason I think this is coming up this week is because I know we have a little bit of time left um, mercury is still in retrograde and mercury when that's in retrograde it's all about re thinking. So rethinking things that have come up in the past and we might have those, um, a friend of mine doesn't like it when I say this, but these pop quizzes. We might have these little pop quizzes like, oh I thought I had that lesson down or I thought I trusted in what I was getting and now we're being tested as in, oh I really need to trust what I'm getting. So pay attention to that. It's going to be an interesting week. Uh, gooseberry tea. 
clear direction. Okay, you cannot make this stuff up. I love this. <laughs> clear direction. Yes, this is what we always want. And look at how much the color goes along with worker behind me. Worker is the, the painting behind me. Thank you, Tammy. It's from One Stop Healing Shop if you want to check out her fabulous paintings. Okay, I digress. Gooseberry tea, clear direction. Now, if you look at this, we have three glasses that are in a very clear line, and then we also have the four right there that look like they're kind of jumbled together. And we always, many of us, like to make sense of things. You know, when stuff comes to us all jumbled together, which is sometimes how we get things in our intuition, we have to trust that we can make sense of it and that we can actually, sorry, that we can actually make something out of it and put it in a format or put it in a way that we can understand it or that the person that we're sharing the information with can understand it. How's that? Ooh, I love this. And then we have the Angel of Choices. Now, the Angel of Choices, and this is number 10. And whenever I see a 10 or a 20 or a 30, we're moving to the next level. It's a new beginning because 1 plus 0 is 1, but it's the next level. So we have a lot going on this week, and there is definitely stuff coming up for our third eye, for our intuition, for the information we are getting from our angels, from our spirit guides, from our loved ones clear direction and some of the clear direction we need to ask you know with the choices especially ask the angel of choices to help us give us clear direction choice a choice b choice c whatever whatever our choices are we can always ask the angels for assistance always always ask and then say thank you angels and then allow the guidance to come in I actually just did an Angel Talk with Sue, which is found on International Angels with an S Network.com. And then um, you can go you can find me on there. But Angel Talk with Sue is Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. There go my chimes. 6 p.m. Arizona time, 9 p.m. Eastern. So figure your time zone out from there. But um, this last week, which the replay is already out there. I was talking about the tools of the angels, and the first thing, the first card I talk about is, have you asked, have you asked your angels for assistance? So this is coming up loud and clear. We want help with our third eye. We want help with our spiritual path. We want help with what is going on in our life. Ask for some clear direction, and you can ask the angel of choices, or you can say calling all angels for assistance. So, wow, it is going to be a fun week. And I, like I recommended at the beginning of this, watch this at the beginning of the, of the week to help see how you're, you know, kind of keep an eye on how your week is going. But then plug it again at the end of the week and see how it all came together. I love how that works. So, as a reminder, the virtual psychic fair is going on August 26th. If I get this out there today, hopefully I will. Um, August 26th and 27th, 2017. This reading is for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. And if you want to get a hold of me for either a healing session, a channeled reading, or an angel reading of sorts, you can find me at empowermentforyou, the number four, dot com. Empowerment for you or suebroom.com. Have a great week, everybody, and thank you so much for the virtual psychic fair and for Diane Garris creating both decks of these fabulous cards. Have a great week. Angel blessings to you.